Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to face swap using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it. So recently, I was doing one of my client's videos. Shouts out to the hardcore closer himself, Ryan Stuman. And in his motivational sales video, he was describing he doesn't get tired like Kevin Gates. Matter of fact, let's play the clip. Get tired. I'm like Kevin Gates. I don't get tired. It clicked in my mind. I was like, you know, it would be funny. What if I actually put Kevin Gates face over this? You probably see memes like this all over the internet, Instagram, Facebook, where they cut out faces of different people and place it on movies and things of that nature it's a very popular thing and I didn't see no tutorial like this on YouTube using Final Cut so I was like you know what let me make this for you guys so let's get it he's not supposed to be here for you you're supposed to be here for him you get off my back you think I want this it just happened so I have my scene right here and um, I literally went to Google and I looked up an image for Kevin Gates all right, so you're going to get your image and go ahead and drop it on top. Now, I'm not a fan of Kevin Gates. I don't really like his music, but I get it. I don't get tired. I like that. I like this. I get it. I get it. So then we're going to place the image across from where we're working, working on. Then what we're going to come do is we're going to come over here to the effects tab, go under mask and locate draw mask and drag that on top. All right. And then you're going to get this little, um, cursor and we're gonna outline the head of our subject you guys can zoom in if you need to click click go around each mouse click dragging it up pretty straightforward try to get it as smooth as possible I'd recommend the good thing is if you do mess up you can move these little circles around and pick up where you left off right here or if you need to add one move that accordingly well, I messed that up actually go all right anyways keep going around base oh we got the cutout right there perfect and I'm gonna just polish this up move these circles around little piece around that's probably as good as it's gonna get right now now over here we can feather this out in fact I'm gonna click the main I'm gonna click the main thing right here the main scene I'm gonna hit V black that out so we could just focus on this cutout click it again and I'm gonna feather some of it you see the feather gets rid of some of that gunk, which is perfect. So mask that out. I feathered to like 13. Um, fall off. I'm just playing with this. I don't even know what it is, but you know, we could rock with it. Go negative 22 with that. Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna highlight our main scene again. Oh, I don't like the way that looks no more. Okay, I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna fix that fall off. I'm gonna go back regular. I'm not even gonna feather it that much. Like a negative six. All right, that looks a little bit more realistic. Sorry, I got ahead of myself, y'all. I'm gonna come here to transform. And I'm gonna move this. Let me zoom out. I would transform. This is where I'm gonna resize the head. Now, I want this a little bit bigger than the subject's head just to add some more um just to add some more laughter to it all right i'm gonna place that on top that looks great right there now what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna come to the scene press v i'm gonna click this and i'm gonna add a color correction so i'm gonna hit command 7 on the keyboard and that pulls up your color wheel and here we can adjust accordingly so let me press v Got this highlighted, and we're gonna adjust the color to make sure it blends in with the scene a little bit more. I'm gonna drop the saturation on some, drop the midtones, 
Um, I think the color is fine. Just to blend it in a little bit more. So we got that underway. I like Kevin Gates, I don't get tired. So now the fun part. So we got that all underway. Click this, and this will be the last part. So we're going to come over to transform. And let's move this over at the starting point. So this is where we're starting. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a keyframe. I'm going to actually make this a little bit smaller. So right here is where you add a new keyframe. And we're going to keyframe this cutout head on our subject's body throughout the whole thing with movement. This is how you do it. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. I'm going to come over to the mouse and click the right arrow key. And literally go frame by frame. And as Ryan Stillman's moving, I'm going to move this accordingly. Now, as you can see, it's on a string almost. You see that red thing? It's like on a string. Now, if you want to get crafty, if I wanted to get super crafty, I could have got like a side profile view of Kevin Gates did the same cutout and actually move with Ryan Stillman's head or my subject's head to the right and left. But I'm not doing it that time for this tutorial. I'm giving you a basis. But you guys can do that. Hit the right arrow key, goes frame by frame, and we can move accordingly. One thing I like to do is I like to move the head around a little bit, add some movement to it each frame, so add some more spice and pizzazz, you know? Now let's look at the playback. I never get tired. I'm like Kevin Gates, I don't get tired. Right, I channeled that energy. Easy peasy, you know, these types of videos would definitely engage, get eyeballs, it shows a sense of humor, they're funny, you could use them towards memes, or even spicing up a YouTube video like this. Um, shouts out to the Hardcore Closer, you guys can go click that button above to look at his YouTube channel, I'm editing all his videos on there, but yeah, you guys can get real crafty, ignite your creativity, and scale it up. Like I said, I haven't seen, I didn't see no tutorial like this on YouTube. And most of the time, the cutouts people do in Photoshop, well, I wanted to show you how to do it all in one system. The almighty Final Cut Pro 10. Shouts to all the Final Cut Pro 10 users out there. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button. And if you want to see more Final Cut Pro tutorials and other tutorials and reviews, comparisons, vlogs, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.